What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Steam Cross video. A lot of updates today. The van is headed out to Missouri to go get the new truck mount installed. We are super excited for that. Look out for that. And maybe the next video will have all updates and do a full reveal on the build. Uh, once it's there, we'll see if Bill takes some clips. He's driving it all the way there from Florida. It's going to be a crazy road trip. And today, before we get into the cleaning, which will go shortly, uh, we're going to be using our new uh, stair tool. We've got a stair tool here. Super excited to use it. We're going to put it to use right away. So without further ado, let's jump over there. We'll give a recap on it when we get back. Let's get to cleaning. First stop of the day this morning, and look at that. Will you look at that? It looks like we have a couple urine issues here to start off the day today. So before we can do anything here, we're gonna wanna put our pet enzyme treatment down, let this thing get soaking. The cool thing is, is a lot of times after you start spraying these, they actually disappear on the black light after some time, which is kind of neat. All right, so we have pre-vacuumed this, which unfortunately I totally forgot to film for you guys before. So this product's been sitting for maybe 10 minutes or so. What we like to do is grab the CRV and just use it as agitation uh, to make sure the product's getting everywhere it needs to get. You can see where we heavily spray the areas where the urine was, but this whole room has been treated. Just the spot's a little bit heavier. A special issue in this closet where the uh, litter box was. All right, another 20 minutes and uh, this will be good to extract. Definitely super excited to try out our new stair tool. Like I mentioned before to you, uh, some of the benefits of this tool, including the glide, which is flat on one end to get closer. We got the jets and everything else. It's a very high quality tool, so super excited to use it. So we're gonna rinse this uh, very thoroughly now, and uh, that'll be it for the spin. Dry strokes, super important to keep those dry times down, especially here in Florida. All right, got this baby hooked up. First thing I noticed right away is that the water, we have this turned up pretty high, about 450 PSI. And uh, you can see, because of the way the angle of the jets, there is no water spewing out the sides, even at uh, a little bit too high of a pressure here, probably what we need. Very smooth.
camera lens is fogging up. But... That is yellow. It didn't look that bad. It didn't look that pretty bad. Dirty. Pretty dang. Dirty. Oof. Yeah. Gonna be hitting her again. Look at that pit water. That is uh, pretty nasty. Man, these shag rugs just hold so much. Just gotta keep flooding them and flooding them and flooding them. Kids getting a little full. Yeah, that water's looking way better though than it was for the first uh, two times we did it. Man, I'm dirty. Still a bit yellow. Third washer. Third washer. Third rinse. Rinse them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good in there. Yeah, we use uh, a lot of water on these rugs. Yeah, it's, it's never that dirty. But it is. Okay, my take on the new Green Glide stair tool here. One thing that I thought I wouldn't like about it is it's pretty heavy really heavy. When you compare it to like the Evolution, I mean, it, it, this is really light. But in my opinion, the head's very light on this, okay? And a lot, certain carpets, you almost have to push it down. Where the Green Glide's wand, it feels a lot more planted. There is no swivel. I've had um, PMF swivel wands. We have one right now uh, that we use, uh, and I've used one for years. I really like that. However, I don't know if the swivel is really that necessary anymore. I mean, this, you know, you just turn it upside down and go with it. Um, I tend to do um, from top to bottom on the riser, and then I do all the flats after that. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really think the uh, swivel is really needed, but nice wand. Love the new glide. I know it's economically priced, which is good. Won't uh, break the bank. Uh, Mikey's got these things, I think they're called extender benders, which kind of a hokey name, but it really works. Uh, keeps the spray right where we need it. Um, so I'm pleased with it. Like it a lot. It is like 150 degrees in this van right now. Uh, I'm ready to call it a day, but we're going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, sorry, we've been a little bit just uh, slammed these last uh, couple weeks. So 
We haven't really filmed all too much, but we're gonna get back on the filming train. I need to do better. I know I need to do better for you guys because I know you guys want to see the video. So um, we're going to uh, give you an update on the van next week when it comes back. Um, Bill's going to take some clips uh, when he's out there of the install process. So maybe some of you guys will find that kind of interesting. We'll show you around the new build. And of course, we're going to do some more cleaning. So uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new. We really appreciate it. If you guys are looking to lear uh, learn more about this industry, uh, we have a private Discord group, which you can join. Link in the description below for that uh, if you are a premium member of our channel. And that's it. We'll see all you on the next video. Peace.